Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to our next FM21 Journeyman save episode. Highlights from our game here. Hunter with a nice cross in and Yopek puts a head on it. Yopek has been linked to uh, West Brom or West Ham. Forget which one. I think West Ham. Sahir across the middle. It gets cleared out. Gunderson comes up and makes the play and Yopek with the little half volley into the near post. He's got a brace in the first 18 and a half minutes and we are sporting a 2-0 advantage. Building up from the left again, our midfield, Takahashi Kohli over the top. Yopek beats his man, kept on sides by the right back, and he's got a first half hat trick. We end up with 10 shots on target out of 20 for the match. 3-0 victory with all three goals coming from man of the match, uh, Ilion Yopek. And also, uh, 20 games into life with Eintracht Frankfurt, Raging Cajun wasting little time bringing fresh faces to Deutsche Bank Park. Signed six players for a combined total of $49.5 million, including AZ's central defender Dieter Kramer in their most recent window. Let's take a look at some transfer business here in the window. We started off by moving uh, Jell Berger and Lofty Yahoon to Hennen for a combined $17.5 million. Uh, Berger, 27-year-old Dutch center back, just depth for us. Uh, he, can't, you know, he was with our system when we added the league to the database. Uh, so don't know what he cost us. Don't know if he came up in the system. Uh, and Lofty Jabnoon, 24-year-old Dutch player. Uh, we got him on loan and then bought him for $5.75 million last season and now have sold him on for a little bit of a profit. Again, some depth for us. Just wasn't, he wasn't in the regular mix, and some of these guys are starting to really complain about playing time and wanting more starts and you know and they're obviously you know second third fourth choices they're not going to play that much so moved them out another player i really like but alexander delu uh went to vigo 24 and a half million uh 28 year old another dutch player you can see they're kind of just average for us i mean he's got really good ratings don't get me wrong but if we take a look uh, we brought him in for 31 and a half, paid a little bit for him over the years, sold him on for a little bit of a loss. This year, nine matches for us, uh, two starts, seven reserve appearances. Didn't play bad, but there was some interest in him, saw we could recoup some money, and went ahead and made that move. And I pulled the trigger on a move for Amir Harambasik to Milan for $2.2 million. And he has already started for them and played a 7.8, if you would look at that. Really good ratings, honestly. Uh, we paid, let's see, we bought him several times. Got him in on loan. Paid $4.2 million for him. Sold him for five. Bought him back for 3.7. So, you know, we actually made money. Somebody else paid for us to buy him back. And then we've sold him on for 2.2. I would say we probably broke even on him, but you can see uh, 6.97. He wasn't playing bad. 22 allowed goals and six shutouts in 15 matches. We had our eye on another keeper. Unfortunately, we, we made an offer on him. Uh, he signed elsewhere, so that was disappointing. But we are looking at another keeper, and he's Brazilian. Fingers crossed that he comes in. Uh, let's see. Then we brought in, on our side, we brought in a couple of young players. Sebastian Amon, he comes in on a free. He's a youth. There's a, there's a quick look at him. Main reason, this is a guy our, our youth director found, and he's 16 years old. He's German. So I'm finding that it's a good thing to just, you know, gather up as many Germans as we can because, you know, you got to have them in this league. Uh, Danielle Esposito, a, a backline player. He's 18 years old in German. We paid a little bit more because he is 18. Uh, not much in the way of potential, but 1.4 possible fee uh, to Servette. 
Then the players that we brought in, or I brought in, $8.75 million to Visbaden for Martin Arndt. And he is a 26-year-old German striker. And really good finishing. Really like him. Stamina is not as high as I would have liked. I made the sacrifice here because at least it was 10. It is, he is German, so he fits that need for the club. And so I felt that was worth relaxing the stamina guidelines that I kind of have for this save a little bit. He can still run. He's got really good acceleration, short burst. And, you know, so brought him in. Really good finishing. And he has made his debut in that last match. 6.5 rating, so we'll see how that goes. Then the other player we brought in also made his debut, Dieter Kramer, $26 million. We had moved on two center backs. We had an offer out on another player, lost out on him. He signed elsewhere, but and he was a German. That's why I was going after him. Kramer, a lot of upside with the sales. We had the money to be able to pick him up. 61 caps for Austria, 25 years old. So he's still young in his prime. Uh, three and a half star current, four star potential. Six foot one, very well rounded, good heading, good marking, great tackling. And you can see he's made his debut playing a 7.1. These are the guys that we're looking at. Uh, Osin Doyle is an end of, uh, he signed with us. He'll join end of the year. So we can take a quick look at him. He's a midfielder. Looks pretty good, 23-year-old English player. Has a pretty decent uh, buyout clause. I think it's like 23, 24 million. Uh, this is a young player, 17-year-old Tills X Lager. So he's in the mix. Again, German, young. That's what, and this is a guy our youth guy found. And this is the keeper we're looking at. Four and a half star current ability. Please, please let him sign. Uh, we've offered um, we've offered out uh, eleven and a quarter million, and we have a contract offer with him. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed. All right, well we'll be back for Bayern Munich here in just a second. Well, I actually recorded this game. I talked through the whole thing, and turned out I forgot to unpause it. <laughs> so we'll just check out the highlights. Uh, it was a well-fought game. We actually played pretty well. There was a nice through ball, and Jack Hunter puts it in the back of the net. 1-0 lead over top of the league, Bayern Munich, in the eighth minute. And then it was real tight until the 79th minute, and Bayern found a gap in our defense right there. Jokic between Abbas and our new player, Kramer, our two center backs, and there was the equalizer. Uh, they had the possession, but, you know, we played really well. So, anyway, uh, so we are going to come back so we actually have a match. I'm going to do Borussia Mladenovic off camera, and we'll come back for Union Berlin in the Pokal third round momentarily. Well, here's the transfer wrap-up for the Bundesliga. Uh, the largest deal was Michael Sundstrom going to Fortuna Dusseldorf for $28.5 million. And you can see the rest. Dusseldorf spent $66 million in this window, and uh, FCN brought in four players. We did make a little bit of a move. We lost out on a, another young player. One very good, but young German. You know how it goes. But in the transfer window, uh, we did finally land. We brought in uh, another young player, Louis Brandelhuber, uh, young left back, young German not very good, but, you know, still try to compile those guys. And we brought in Yanderson. So very happy. Uh, there is our new goalkeeper, valued at $33 million. And we paid 11.25 to the LA Galaxy in the MLS. He has uh, played 34 matches with 12 shutouts, 30 goals allowed. If he can approach anything that, he will be a stellar goalkeeper for us. But I am very happy to get him. Four-star potential, passing ability, uh, first touch, eh, a little questionable, but very, very happy to land this guy. Taking a look at finances, we're down to about just under $10.5 and committed spending is 8.1. 
I guess I can make a budget adjustment to that. Not really. All right, well, <clears throat> maybe we'll go over, but we did blow our budget this year. So if we take a look at the team report, so y Yanderson becomes our new number one. Uh, Sahin Gunderson on the right. Abbas Kramer gives Lane in the middle. And Sahin and Bruger on the left. Just depends on where Sahin needs to line up. We are a little weak at left mid, but we do have some other players. Well, not really. Not really. Uh, we don't, you know, we have some players that slide over there. Jack Hunter slides over there. Uh, Takahashi, Sam still out on international duty. Coley, we recalled Deera uh, earlier in the episode, so he is back, giving us a little more depth. Yopek uh, on the right, uh, Deera and Sam can play in that number 10. Uh, Aslani, Arndt, Saren, those are going to be our strikers. Coley's midfield, Hunter's a winger. So that's kind of what we're dealing with there. And uh, let me go play Borussia Magladbach, and uh, then we'll be back for the actual match after that. All right, I just double checked to make sure I had unpaused the recording between uh, recording bits. And here's what we're going with today Yanderson in goal making his on YouTube debut. Matt's Mert Sahin, Gislaine, Kramer, and Gunderson on the back line. Hunter and Yopek with Abbas in the deep line playmaker role. And uh, Dira moving up into the number 10. Arndt and Aslani up top and yeah playing that number 10 does pull abbas out amara could play there if he was here but everybody else is our center back so i'm not sure this tactic is going to be the right choice either but we're going to give it a shot because it is uh it is the return of an older tactic jack hunter's not happy of being played out of position we are retraining him for that position uh, pump fist, go out there, and let's get to it. I've made the decision to go back just to key highlights as well, just trying to shorten the episode lengths. Oh, there's a dirty foul by Pania, and Sayin draws the foul. It's the the ailing flop. Sahin looking for some space. There's Avis. I got to give some thought. I got to look at his. Oh, there's a through ball, and oh, Aslani cannot put it in the net. I think we should have done a better job finding a goal on that. Uh, Art runs in and leaves Einstrott to make the free run. And ooh, Yanderson picks up the little header back to him. Looks good. You know, the fact that now we're on key highlights, now it's like, oh my God, if there's a highlight, there's a high possibility it's going to be a goal. As Lonnie, oh, he dinks the keeper. He dinked the keeper. Eighth goal of the season. And there it goes. Oh, by the way, big shout out to uh, hometown UFC fighter Dustin Poirier for the big win at UFC 257 last night against Conor McGregor. Oh, that was a great play by Aslani. Not sure if you guys are UFC fans or not. I'm a big MMA fan. Like it a lot. And that was a huge victory for him last night. And Jack Hunter, his ninth goal. Couldn't tell how that ball made it through to him. Maybe we can see it on the replay. But that puts us up 2-0 here over Union Berlin. Let's see, Gunderson with the long throw. And it just got past the keeper. It just was so far. I think Karrison made a bad decision on where he came out on that. Got past him, and it was basically a free shot. So that's good. We're going to give him some early praise then. And we'll see what happens next. Four shots, five shots, three on target. Yeah, we're going to ignore that. Uh, ignore. Martin Arndt. Looks like it said he took a ding. Oh, there's a nice save. Look at the hands by Yanderson. 
Flick on hitter as Lonnie. Oh, what control. He just carried that ball with him for about three strides, and his ninth of the season slotted into the net. That was huge. Watch this play up to him. Look at that. He just caught it and then, like, juggled it for a step at full stride. Oh, that was that was brilliant. That's That's got to be possible play of the season. Uh, a pulled groin. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, we need to get in there and sort that out. Um, it doesn't say he's injured. Injured but feels he can shake it off. You know what? We're already kind of lagging, and we're up 3-0. Let's bring, who do I want up there? Coley? Coley's he's more of a right winger. I could bring Jack Hunter out there. So let's bring Hunter up for Arndt. And then let's bring Paul Novich on. That's more his natural position. All right. Defense. Oh, it was cleared off the line. Big play by the defense. I couldn't tell who cleared it. If you guys saw, let me know in the comments. No highlight there. That's okay. We're still losing possession here. Hmm. But would I rather have possession or a 3-0 advantage? I'm pretty sure I'd rather have the 3-0 advantage. Gunderson. No. No. What was that? Tell you what, Gunderson is looking pretty solid over there at right back. He could play there. It's not like he's playing out of position, but he's been more of a natural center back. Oh, well, there's Sahin. He usually plays on the right side. Oh, here's Hunter. What's he going to do? Crosses the keeper up. It's his 10th of the season, and it is 4-0 as we are putting it to Union Berlin heading into halftime. Looking very good. Strangely, I have not seen a Yopet goal since that hat, that first half hat trick that he had. Uh, let's do hands together. Don't let it happen. We're going to warn him against complacency. So, oh, there's a shot and penalty possibly or an offsides. I'm thinking an offsides. There it is. I saw the call at the bottom. Playing very well. Yopek does have two assists today. All right, let's... Onovich is complacent, and he was a sub. That's fabulous. He can play on the right. You know what? Let's bring him on. I'm going to bring him on for Yopek. Let's do that. Give him a little bit of a rest. We are in some match congestion right now, fixture conge uh, congestion. Uh, I think we're three days apart for, you know. Oh, there's another header. Aslani reaches double digits, and it's 5-0. XG goes to 2.11, 17 shots, 10 on target. Hunter blasted in. Aslani gets in a gap between two defenders and slots at home. And it is looking good right now. All right, let's bring on our final sub. Having a storming game, both of our strikers. Five goals between them. Wow. That is outstanding. So that's Lonnie with a hat trick. Uh, Abbas. Do we have another defensive mid? I really don't. Kramer could go up there. Gislaine could go up there. Yeah, let's do that. Who do I want to bring up, though? Ten passing. Seven passing. We'll bring Gislaine up for Avis. And then Avis will bring Stover. Yeah, 32. We actually re-signed him. He was one of the three 
guys 32 or older that we had and we went ahead and re-signed him keeping that veteran leadership presence and then we sold the goalkeeper and i'm trying to remember who the other guy was but the other guy i think we're letting go was it our other center back might be abbas might be our other center back trying to remember but i don't I do not. He fights through a tackle. That's really good. Oh, and just a couple of quick passes. And there's a goal coming into the game. Quang Yoon and his first goal of the season makes it six. Oh, my goodness. Just putting him to the sword. Hey, we're wearing the same tracksuit. I wonder if we have the same sponsorship. 19 shots, 12 on target, 2.36 XG, leading to six goals. Uh, I'm going to go outstretched arms. They liked that. Most of them liked that. Complacent. Yeah. Let's finish out the day there. And I don't know when the draw is. But we do demolish them. Win in the third round. We pick up a million dollars for that, so that's nice. If we can make a million dollars in one round, I'm thinking the Pokles all of a sudden become very, very important to me. <laughs> Three goals, one assist, a 9.7 rating. Impressed with how you led the line. Very, very good. As Lonnie. And taking a look at the squad. So we have three players, Hunter, Cernan, and Aslani with 10 goals, Yopek with five, Sam with four, and where's Arndt? Arndt still looking for his first goal in four starts for us. Maybe, you know, he's probably not going to be our main guy. I really like Aslani's good. Cernan just scores for fun, it appears, but... How am I going to keep him out of the striker spot with that? Kind of, I mean, look at the numbers here, man. The problem is, for striker, he's only got an 11 finishing. It's not horrible. Great first touch. Oh, that's what I wanted to look at. Remember we were talking about Arndt? 14 dribbling, 13 first touch, free kick taking, long shots. He can actually mark. And tackling is decent, but he can mark people. You never see that. I mean, look at, you know, his marking is two. Right? Aslani, his marking is seven. So, I mean, that's just really astounding. All right, well, competition-wise, we were expected to reach the quarterfinal, which we have done, I believe. What's the deal here? Third round. Yep. So this will be drawn on the ninth. Tell you what, you guys want to hang around? No, that's after the next match. So, all right. Well, hit the like button. Subscribe, guys. Let me know what you think about Yanderson signing for us out of Brazil. And uh, did we take a really close look at him? I don't. We I know we looked at his ratings, but he's 26 years old. He's capped for Brazil's U23 side. Not yet making his debut for the national club, but he looks so good. And he can even pass, so he's a true sweeper keeper. Decent enough first touch. Oh, I'm so happy we got him. Definitely an upgrade. Definitely an upgrade. Uh, one shutout in the league, one shutout in the cup. He may never give up a goal. I just jinxed him. We're going to give up six in the next one. But... You'll have to wait to find out. Guys, we'll see you. Take care. Bye.